Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today we're talking about middle and high school in Russia. How does it work? I only can judge by my experience and my friends' experience that were in other schools, and maybe this is not true for every single school, but for the majority, I think it is. We start middle school in the fifth grade. From fifth to the ninth, we have middle school. And it's not called middle school. It's not called anything. Actually, it is called middle school, but only very rarely. We don't, we don't use that term a lot, okay? We typically refer to our grades as fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, okay? For the middle school. And typically what happens there, you start to get your own books and carry a backpack from classroom to classroom. In the typical school in Russia, each classroom will be assigned to a specific subject, or at least subjects that are very close, like biology and chemistry, for example. It can be literature and Russian language. It can be math and geometry. Those kind of classrooms that have a specific theme to them. And you can see like on the walls around, you can see you know, the formulas and then the geometry shapes for the geometry and math class for Russian and literature. It can be like some quotes of uh, Russian poets. Whatever, you can easily tell what kind, of, what kind of class it is. And a typical week would consist of six days. Six days of school. Only one day on a Sunday, it's a weekend. Saturday is a shorter day with you know, less, time, less classroom time, less time for breaks between um, the classes. But typically, it's a six-day week. Every day, you will have classes like around six classes that are 40 minutes long. And so typically you come to school at eight and you're done at about 12.30 to one. So in that first half of the day, you're in school and you have around six classes, six subjects as I said before. And you are in the same class with the same, with, 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 with same people in the same class for those, what, five, six years. Okay, so you start at grade five, all the way to grade nine is the same number of people. It's not that common for people to leave schools only when they move locations, of course. If they move to another location, of course, they will change schools. But typically, you stay within the same, with the same you know, classroom, with the same number of people. Okay, and you stay there and, uh, and you have fun. I have a couple of stories. We were in the literature class. And we were reading, well, what is it called? L uh, the Petit Prince, whatever it is. You have a name on the screen right now as was well a picture. It's a French, uh, French book by a French author. And we were talking about, you know, character, talking about something that's universal, things like responsibility for others. And we're talking about that subject, right? About that topic. And once a literature class was over, me and my friends, went to the hallway and we, and we saw a crack in the wall and everybody went and punched that wall once, right? So it's like six of us punched that wall once. By the time it's done, the whole crack was kind of like shattered. So we just pretty much just destroyed that, that part of a wall, okay? And we went back and somebody told, told on us. And so the, our class teacher and the provost came and said, hey, who did this? And none of us would stand up. And our teacher, who taught us that responsibility, right, that character, is sitting in the corner and she says, unbelievable. We're just talking about this responsibility, being a character, being a human being. And you guys just did that right away. You all participated in a conversation. You all had something to say, but none of you truly felt that. And I felt so embarrassed by that. You know, I just talked about that with her, right? And here I am being a hypocrite and just a terrible feeling, all right? Another story is me, me and my friends, we're pranksters. We were always having fun, always bullying somebody, but not anything serious, okay? Not, not anything physical, at least. But we would always get in trouble for something. And we had a cafeteria. And the way you buy things is you stand in line and you get your first meal, second meal, maybe like some dessert. And me and my friends, not having, not having a lot of money, 
would steal the cookies that were there. It was like maybe three workers in the actual cafeteria and as soon as them all turn around, one cookie, two cookies in, in, uh, under our hoodie, right? Like in the, in the pockets. And we never got caught, but over time we felt bad. We felt very bad. And I started leaving money, you know, just on the table after I was done right or under the table or put it like in a in a in a um where they used to like wh where you pay when they all like go somewhere else right when it's not a lot of people in there i'll just leave like a, a little bit of money there kind of like paying back for all those things that i've that i've stole stolen okay but anyway going back to the school systems we also have two different periods so imagine the fifth 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth grades, 5 classes, 5 different groups of people, around 25 each. And in each grade, right, 5th grade, we had 2 groups, A and B. So imagine 50 times 5, 250 students in a school. Our school was very small, so we had something called shifts, morning shifts and evening shifts. So you either start at 8, finish at 1, or you start at 2, finish at 5, for example, 5 p.m. Finish at 5 or 6, around that, around that time. And I used to hate, I used to hate the second shift because all the good cartoons that were shown on the TV were about like 2 or 3 p.m. Uh, you know, in the afternoon, so I would miss all of them. And I would have to, you know, kind of rewatch the, the, um, the replays in the morning. So I hated that second shift. And, uh, but some people loved it. So we, I haven't heard an American school system having those two shifts, but in Russia, we do have that. And after the ninth grade, once, you've, once you're done with everything, you have a choice. You can either stay in school for two more years of high school, or you can go somewhere else like a college or change schools or go to get your higher education, but not higher, higher, but more of a middle education, specific like chefs like electricians like all those professions that require some skill typically like hand work and a lot of my friends actually did go there and because they didn't want to study they didn't, didn't see themselves as being you know um, some s smart people like going to universities so they, they left but i stayed and after the ninth grade we took tests you take a national test that would determine you know your scores and depending on those scores, you get either accepted or declined from the high school that you're applying to. And not a lot of my friends actually failed everything so miserably, miserably that they couldn't get in. So still, schools have some, some sort of leeway for their own children that were there for the middle school. And I think that's it for the middle school. I have so many more stories because, I mean, I grew up during my middle school time. We had fun. We would, we would get in trouble. We would, you know, bully people. We would always be... Uh, doing something, always, you know, being in a way of our teachers teaching, lecturing during that time. So I have a lot of stories, but not none of them are actually that interesting out of context. If you were with us, you would have a lot of fun. I promise you. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the comments. Пока-пока.